This is a tour of a kidney in the urinary system. The kidney is a paired retroperitoneal organ that filters the blood and excretes urine. The renal capsule maintains the kidney shape. The hilum is the concave region where the blood vessels, the nerves, and the ureter are going to either enter or exit the kidney. Looking at the coronal plane, we can see the renal cortex near the edge. The renal medulla is in the middle. Within the renal medulla, we have the renal pyramids. I think they look like fish fins. Separating the renal pyramids, we have the renal columns. The apex of the renal pyramid, we have a renal papilla. So each renal papilla is going to drain into the minor calyx and then the major calyx and then into the renal pelvis, which is going to collect the urine. It's going to send it to the ureter, which will be stored in the bladder before excreted from the body. We have the renal artery that's going to bring blood to the kidney. So renal for kidney, artery because it comes from the heart. We have the renal vein that's going to take blood away from the kidney. The nephron is the functional filtration unit of the kidney. We have about 1 million nephrons in each kidney and there's two types. We have cortical nephrons where the majority of it is in the renal cortex. We have the juxtamedullary nephrons that have these long loops in the medulla. So the nephron consists of the renal corpuscle, the proximal convoluted tubule, the loop of nephron, nephron loop, or loop of Henle, all the same loop, the distal convoluted tubule, and then these distal convoluted tubules, several are going to drain into one collecting duct. We can see these DCTs by these white tubules. And then the urine is going to leave the collecting duct through the papillary duct. That's going to drain into our calyces, our renal pelvis, and our ureters. So this portion of the model is an enlargement of the renal corpuscle. So blood is brought to the renal corpuscle through the afferent arterial. The blood is going to flow through the glomerulus. The glomerulus is a ball of leaky capillaries and it has little tiny fenestrations. These are the little holes. It's going to be surrounded by the visceral layer of the glomerular capsule or Bowman's capsule. This visceral layer has podocytes, and podocytes means tow cells. So as the blood comes into this glomerulus, everything is going to get pushed out except your formed elements and your large molecules. The parietal layer of the glomerular capsule or the Bowman's capsule is simple squamous epithelium. So the filtrate is going to get caught in this space in between the visceral layer and the parietal layer, and the filtrate will be sent down the proximal convoluted tubule. When blood leaves this glomerulus, it's going to go out the efferent arterial. This is the distal convoluted tubule. It's proximal to these arterioles. And this juxtamedullary apparatus is going to monitor the blood pressure. And it will release appropriate hormones in order to maintain homeostasis.